today uh, I'll be making a pot roast and I have my bottom round roast here. First thing I'm going to do is brown all the sides in my stock pot. Okay, I placed my meat in the pan to brown uh, all the sides, starting with the fat side first. So, uh, what you want to do is periodically just check the bottom of the uh, meat. if it's browned enough and that looks pretty good. So now what you want to do is just make sure you brown each side and I have a big um, serving fork that I use for this to help me hold the meat so that I can get the sides brown. takes a little time to get all the sides. My meat is still slightly frozen, which I recommend that you totally defrost the meat before you do it. Okay, so I have browned all the sides and I'm going to pull the meat out and place on a plate just to sit for a minute. And now I'm going to um, saute up two yellow onions and baby carrots. scrape along the bottom of the pan to get the bits up. I'm just going to saute this for a little bit and add in two um, garlic cloves sliced. Just going to saute these together to um, soften them up a little bit. These um, vegetables have gotten softened. So now I'm going to add in some salt. Pepper. Oregano. I'm give it a good stir. to add in some white wine. I 
a brown gravy packet. to stir these together. I'm going to add in a few drops of Worcestershire sauce. and some ketchup. Stir this all together. And I'm going to just make a little opening in the center and I'm going to place back in my pot roast with the fat side down. And to this I'm going to add a box of low sodium beef broth. Just going to add in some water. I'm going to add in um, a bay leaf. Just want to add in a little more water. So that it covers most of the meat. Going to give it a nice stir. And like I said, I'm just going to wait for the water to boil. I'm going to cover it and then reduce my heat. Now that it's uh, up to a boil, I'm going to cover this, reduce the heat to a low simmer, and then in six hours, I'm going to add some potatoes to cook for the last hour. All right, I'll see you then. I've peeled and cubed up these potatoes, and now I'm going to add them to our pot. The pot roast has been cooking for six hours now, and as you can see, I can pierce the 
meat nicely. Um, a piece of it broke off. It's nice and tender. So now I'm going to take, I just tasted it, it's delicious. <laughs> now I'm going to add um, the potatoes in and cook those for approximately 45 minutes. Just gonna check on them periodically. I want, um, I want them to become tender and the same thing where I can pierce my fork through it. So I'm going to carefully add these to my pot because um, I don't want any splash back. So I will see you in about an hour. Okay, as you can see, um, I can pierce my fork through the potatoes. They're finished. So now um, you remove the pot roast and what you want to do before you slice it, slice it is just make sure you remove the fat from the bottom. Here's your final result. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.